What's up, it's Matt with the Lime Lines. How's everyone doing today? Yeah, I got a topic today I want to talk about that's, you know, super, super, um, you know, I think it touches a lot of people. Um, I think that, that, that a lot of people feel the same, same way, but, but they don't know how to deal with it. And this is what I'm talking about is your parents raising you and you blaming your parents for, Whatever mishaps you may have in your life or whatever, when you become a parent, you need to let all that shit go. Even before you come become a parent, you need to let all that shit go. Because once you became became a certain age, once you became conscious of right and wrong and all these things about life and what, what's, what's good, what's bad, you know, which way you should go, which way, you know, what you should do. And it's not always what, you know, your parents say or um, another person says, it's what you feel in your heart. What you feel in your heart is what matters. That's all that matters. We need to be here for our kids. We need to teach our kids and leave a better example. We can learn from our parents the mistakes they made, you know, or or the other other way they they did too much and and you know that that impacted or didn't have enough emotional um you know have be able to emotionally talk to you so you felt like you could go talk to them at any time you know what I mean like this is real this shit this shit um it's degrading with every generation because parents are forgetting to learn from their parents and I'm not saying all, but I'm saying most par- most most people of my age, around my age, because for the longest time, I always blame my parents, I blame my mom, I blame my dad for this and that and the next and another. When at the end of the day, it was all me. It was all my own choices. I made the choices at the end of the day. I made the choices of being there, being doing good or doing bad, and I did bad for a very long time. Most of my life, I did bad, and I wasn't doing bad towards people. But it, you know, I ended up in prison. I landed in prison. Was in prison for a few years, and then out of jail. You know, all of this and that. But uh, it's been like seven or 2012, so seven years. You know, what I'm saying like, or however many years that is. But. Anyways, like, I've been doing good, I, I got my, I'm finally, uh, you know, I got my own home, I'm a homeowner, you know, it might not be a home, but it's a, it, or I mean, uh, a house, but it's a trailer, and that's all that matters, man, my kid has everything he needs, I look out, I protect, and I do everything I can, and I learn from the mistakes that my parents made, and I stop blaming my parents, I stop blaming all their people for what is going on in my life. I had to take responsibility for everything that was going on in my life. And I had to take it on to advance it and make it something. Make it something so my kid can look up to. I want my kid to be proud of me. I want to be able to teach my kid everything. And I'm not talking school education. And, you know, no no offense, but, you know, it's bullshit. I'm going to teach my kid the real stuff. So my kid is intellectually smart, how to critically think, things like this that we need to be teaching our kids that we are not teaching our kids. Critical thinking, critical thinking, they're, they're, they are destroying our youth and we cannot do anything about it while they're in school. So while they're at home, we need to teach them and teach them, hey, you know, if you're, if you're, um, school teacher, whatever, brings up, uh, something about history, and you, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm gonna teach you the real history, so you can go teach that, say that in class, and then you can open up, you know, maybe five other people's eyes to what's really happening, what's really going on, all the lies that we were told all our life, Everything was lies. Don't people realize that? Everything was lies. We need to teach our kids the right thing. I don't tell my kid they're Santa Claus. I don't, I don't be, no, none of that. Because it all comes from, well, first of all, pagan, pagan, pagan stuff. But also it's, it's, it's taking the power from the family and putting in something fantasy. 
something that's not real. And we need to take back this power. We need to be there for our kids. We need to be there for when they have school lunches, when they have, you know, and it's dad's day or it's mother's day or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to be there for our kids. We need to teach our kids. Otherwise, we are, 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 it's sad to say, but if we don't teach our kids the right way, how to live, how to think, how to treat people right, how to, you know, live life and, 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 uh, be able to conquer, uh, uh, conquer obstacles that stand in your way at some points in life. And, and everyone's gonna go through something. You can't fool yourself and say, nah, that, you know what I mean? I'm gonna, everyone's gonna go through something hard that's gonna test their challenge. That's gonna test every single bit of will that they have. And we need to be those people. If you're a father, if you're a mother, we need to be the people that are teaching our kids to do the right thing. To look up to God. To look up to God, the man above. Not, not this fictitious, you know, um, bullshit that they're teaching our kids in schools. We need our kids to know the real God, the one that created everything. The one that is more powerful than anything. We need to be the teachers because this society is not teaching our kids what they need to know. And I'm sorry to say it, I'm sorry to be blunt, but it's the truth. And if you can't recognize it, then you gotta open your eyes and maybe look into some shit a little more. You know what I mean? Like, this is, we have to raise our kids. This next generation is so important. We need to make sure that they know how to get through life, critically think, act, be honest, treat people right, and do the right thing. Make this world a better place. Otherwise, it's going to be gone. I love you all. Talk to you later and spread this message.